Hey everybody, Mickey here. Welcome back to the Final Fantasy X walkthrough. Let's go ahead and save Kimari. <laughs> Kimari not looking too pleased about, again, his heroic sacrifice kind of going to complete shit. <laughs> But, that being said, this is Seymour Natus. Natus? Seymour Natus, and he is not easy for somebody who's never played this game before. And like always, we can go ahead and use the talk command, but before doing that, what I'd like to do with Titus specifically, Titus or Kimari, because I have this spell, is use Provoke. Now, Provoke is very good against Seymour Natus, and what it does is exactly that. It provokes the enemy to attacking Titus specifically. Now, this is important because you want to make sure that you have Titus in on the front line here pretty much as much as possible, if not the entire battle, while you have Provoke on Seymour Natus. It is good to see you again, Lady Mira, but you don't seem pleased. I'll only be pleased when you're gone to the far plane. And just like in. The last Seymour battle here, you have the ability to go ahead and use the talk command. Let's go ahead and do that with uh, Titus as well because it gives that massive strength so, boost. You too seek freedom from this painful life. You talk too much, Seymour. Well, there we go. And looks like Kimori still has his lightning spear from. Yeah, the Thunder Spear from his, uh, from our adventures over at the Vir Perifico. Let's go ahead... Oh, I'm not really gonna use him very much, not now. So let's go ahead and just cast Haste on Titus here. And you want to do this specifically. You want to go Provoke and then Haste on Titus. The reason being is that there are these combo attacks that Seymour Natus will use. So if you'll see... This is exactly why he can be such a difficult uh, enemy to face. Now, Seymour Natus is immune to slow, so you don't want to be doing that by any means. And the way that you can do this is you can kind of try to take out the Mordic body or go specifically right at Seymour. And that's what I'm going to do, is go right at Seymour. Before healing up, though, I should say. Or I should say after healing up. Let's go ahead and heal up with, uh, I'd say, a Mega Potion is fine. But yeah, this is what makes Seymour really difficult, is because you saw that the Mortar Body, he had attacked everybody with the Blizzaris, uh, Blizz Blizzard, not Blizzaris spell, the Blizzard spell. Uh, so that means that even if I did have something like No Frost, well, the Mortar Body would have just completely made it useless. So instead, that's why I've been saying in the last episode, we're gonna use Reflect specifically on Tidus. And now, with Reflect on Titus, this is supposed to be able to, as long as I have the Provoke status effect or debuff on Seymour, it's going to attract Seymour to, uh, well, casting spells on Titus specifically. He casts, uh, he as in Seymour, he casts spells in a specific order. God, look at that damage just due to the fact that I've got the strength boost from talking to Seymour. Yeah, at this point, when you've dealt enough damage to him, I think about half of his life almost, uh, which he's almost there. Well, he'll start casting Break and Flare uh, along with all the other spells that he does, which... To speak on that real fast, just like the last time we fought him, he casts magic in a specific order. Let's go ahead and take out the mortar body just so show what, a, what that's like. But he'll cast magic spells in the order of Bazara, Thundera, Watera, and uh, Fira, or Fira, whatever you want to call it. So it's important to know because you can be able to use the the null spells, just in case. But again, you know, you just want to take it with a grain of salt, specifically because of the fact that 
the Morta body will absolutely take out your null spells because of the fact that he uses an elemental spell on all the party. But yeah, as you saw there, when you take out the Morta body, what it does is that it absorbs the HP uh, from Seymour Natus. So that's why at least I'm better off right now being able to deal damage out to Seymour Natus because specifically like him, his main, the main body, because, well, if I'm dealing, like, more than 4,000 damage, which is, like, how much more the body has, then why not just do it to see more Natus instead of just taking care of the Morta body's 4,000 HP and then him absorbing it? Although he was not the man I once knew, Kinok was still my friend, Seymour. You will pay for his death! Yeah, that's right. We kind of just... I didn't really go over that fact. I mean, Keenock was a maester, and, you know, he just killed him outright, I guess. For no reason! <laughs> I have no clue why that happened. You saw that the Morta body used... Oh, do not switch... No, do not switch Tidus out. The Mor Morta body, he used this ability called Shattering Claw. Let's go ahead and bring Lulu in here, and... Uh, let's cast Bio. Why not, right? Not much of a use in this battle, but whatever. The Shattering Claw, much like the Evre Altana, well, Break will cast Petrify or Stone on you. So I suppose if you didn't go the Reflect route, the Stone Ward equipment that I showed you how to customize, yeah, it would be pretty helpful. But if if Break actually does go off, I'm gonna haste up Oren so I can just swap him out here for, let's say, I think, I think that's everybody, right? Let's go ahead and bring Kimari in just in case, and let's get the Hunter's Spear on him. But anyways, Break will petrify, and he'll use a combo with the Morta body with just the Shattering Claw, and it will shatter your petrification basically making it so that you can't even bring that character back to life like when you get shattered it's exactly that like you will not be able to there's no phoenix down there's no ability to i don't want to hit with tedious yeah you might hit for max damage which seymour natus only has 9,000. but point of the matter is yeah you want to watch out for shattering claw and break and that's what's nice about having haste on uh, Titus is that he breaks Seymour Natus' combo ability with the Morta body. Uh, typically, he has enough speed to where everything kind of combos into one another. And I just want to make sure, for some reason I'm kind of hesitating on killing him, because I just want to make sure that everyone has had a turn. Yuna reflected, Lulu casted Bio, Riku stole a Tetra Elemental, and Orin Top, so... Alright, let's go ahead and kill him outright. Yeah, but the reason why this, you know, Seymour Natus can be so difficult is because, well, he has just all these spells. Uh, let's see if I can show off here, just allow him to, yeah, go ahead and use Flare. And you'll see, he's just targeting Titus because of the fact that, well, Titus provoked him to begin with. Provoke, Reflect, oh my god, almost missed that one. <laughs> Yeah, but Provoke and Reflect combined with each other, that's... That's pretty rough. That's a pretty difficult combo to get past. Uh, I wanted to overkill him with a, an attack that took him out with 3500 damage, because he drops... Well, I mean, not anything too pertinent, but... Some good experience. And some level 2 key spheres, which I'd rather have than not have. We escaped with our skins intact, but Yuna lost something. I could already tell her faith was shaken. Yevon had betrayed her. I felt like I should do or say something, anything. But nothing came. I was just as lost as she was. And then... And then a ton of cutscenes? What? Well? We're all clear. 
We will have to avoid Bevel in the future. Yuna? Said she wanted to be alone. Of course. Yep, I guess just like that, Bevel just lets us off the hook, doesn't really care to pursue us or anything. <laughs> Must be tough for Yuna. We leave at daybreak. If Yuna figures out where we're going, that is. Yeah, it is pretty tough. I mean, what do we do now, anyway? I feel kind of bad leaving everything up to her, you know? Yeah, lots of dialogue with everybody here. Maybe you should talk to her. I am tired. It's one of my more favorite lines of Orin. He's done with this. This is his second time around, for God's sake. Wonder what uni will do, huh? Think she'll quit her pilgrimage? That's what you want, right? Well, if uni really wants to keep going, then. I guess I shouldn't stop her, you know? That's what yeah. I think anyway. For the next couple of episodes, there's going to be quite a bit of soul searching. And what I mean by that is cutscenes and a hell of a lot of them. It's going to be kind of more boring episodes for the next uh, one to two here. I wonder if there's a way to perform the final summoning and not die. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, it would be great. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna figure I that out, though. someone would have thought of it in the last thousand years, huh? Exactly for that reason. Yuna's off in the woods. Kamari's with her, but maybe you should go, too. Well, thanks, Lulu. With your blessing, I'll go ahead and do that. Not really very many ways that you can go. Um, if you remember, we're actually back at... This area, this is Makalania Forest, and for whatever reason, even if you show yourself to the Bevel Guards here, they don't do shit. So, <laughs> can't go this way, so we can only go this way. Lots of scenes ahead here. I always thought that this would be easier somehow. I thought that everyone would help me, with all my friends together beside me. I've been trying so hard. Maybe... You're trying too hard. They told me... Everything. Everything? Well, so then... You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just... You know... All those things I said. Like... Let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. Yuna! Just don't do it! The pilgrimage? Uh, uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Mm. 
Maybe I will. Wouldn't everyone be surprised? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No. I should tell him. He deserves it. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey, Xanarkin. Let's go to Xanarkin. Uh? uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. And then we could see Blitzball. That's right. Your Xanarkand Aves would play? Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkand never sleeps. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. The city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. It's really... pretty. I know you'd like it. Hmm. I'd like to see it... someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. You... I can't. I just can't.
I'll continue. I must. Mm. If I give up now, I could do anything I wanted to. And yet, even if I was with you, I could never forget. I'll go with you. Ooh. I'm your guardian. Unless I'm fired. <laughs> Stay with me. Until the end. Please. Not until the end. Always. Maybe you should head back to camp first. Roger. Well, it finally happened. They finally actually committed each other's feelings or said it out loud and had the payoff we all expected. Wait, I'll go with you. Also, it really always bothered me that Titus never took off his gloves to feel the touch of Yuna, but whatever, man. Where's that damn gauntlet the whole time? Everyone, we leave at dawn. And... I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And, um... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. Well... Just like Yuna explained to Titus, we're going to continue on with pilgrimage. Just like nothing happened before. <laughs> it seems like that point in the game where we've just really gone through the ringer here. Let's actually go back. There was a blatant treasure chest. I don't know why. I don't understand why it's like, guys, just open the treasure chest. Like, it's okay. Got a lucid ring, which is actually pretty good for Yuna. 
has confused Ward, which we haven't really been able to customize by obtaining all these musks from floating eyes. I think they're evil eyes. Yeah, well, we were there for that riot. We were there major. So our next destination is here is Mount Gagazet. And to get to Mount Gagazet, we need to go through the Calmlands. My favorite part in the game. Which we'll go ahead and do in the next few episodes. Catch you later, guys.